Hey, what's going on, everybody? BK Phase 2 here with Modern Warfare 2 TD Deathmatch on sub base. And I'm talking really fast, and I don't know why I'm talking really fast. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking really fast. <laughs> okay, what's going on, guys? Sorry for that. I just wanted to give a little excitement. But today, I'm so happy Infinity Ward has announced Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer. There's so many extraordinary new things. I really like the game. I think I'm gonna buy the game. Uh, there's so many new stuff. Uh, create your own class, create your own soldier, new kill streaks, new game modes, new engine audio. I'm so happy, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're gonna start off. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna talk about Call of Duty Ghosts and Infinity Ward has put seven new game modes into Call of Duty Ghosts and the first one it is called Cranked. Cranked is similar to Team Deathmatch but it is really really fast and this game mode is not meant for campers because it's really fast and when you kill somebody you get faster running pace, faster reload, faster aiming and you have 30 seconds to kill the enemy and if you do not kill the enemy within 30 seconds, you will die and explode. The other game mode is called Search and Rescue. Your teammate can revive you whenever you die by picking up your dog tags. It's like a, it's like Search and Destroy, but you don't, you're not out for the rest of the round. If unless the enemy picks up your dog tag, then you're gone for the rest of the round. Uh, this other thing called Squads. Pretty much what Squads is, Preach, Prestige, uh, you do. You earn a soldier, put it in your squad, and you have a maximum of 10 soldiers in uh, one squad. So it's like a 1v1 against someone else with your squad and their squad. And I think that's going to be really fun. And also there's this thing called Safeguard, which is very similar to Survival in Modern Warfare 3. I'm not sure how that works, because I didn't really play Survival in Modern Warfare 3. Um, but yeah, I think that will be fun. Also, the maps in Call of Duty Ghosts are really dynamic. Uh, what I mean by dynamic is it's like similar to Battlefield, if you guys have played Battlefield, where such as the landscape can shift, or like when you shoot a building, uh, stuff fall off or I can explode a building and just collapses so on the map Octane for instance there's this gas station and if you put C4s in the gas station the gas station will collapse and fall and you could kill someone with that or you could use that as cover and that's really smart by Infinity Ward I like the technology to put in and also about technology in the game uh, when you hop fences you're from doing everything, hopping fences or peeking around the corner, your body shifts to the environment, which I think that is really unique and very helpful when you're trying to play stealthy. And also from Black Ops 2, the dolphin dive, uh, in Call of Duty Ghosts, it's now a thing called knee slide, where pretty much you slide on your knee, obviously from this name, knee slide. And I, I like the new technology in Call of Duty Ghosts, from just everything, new, new graphics to audio to engine. The graphics looks extraordinary, the audio... Uh, there's shockwaves now in the game, and like for example, when you shoot or when you throw a grenade, you could obviously uh, hear the blast. But now the blast it just goes all around the mound, the, the mound. What am I saying? Around the map. Yeah. And also the audio. For example, when you shoot outside, you can hear the rounds blasting off the gun. But when you shoot indoors, it's gonna be even more louder, and the enemies will be attracted towards you. So what I recommend is you use the silencer, so you won't be attracted to the enemies, or unless you're not trying to play stealthy. And also, you could spot enemies. Um, you could spot enemies around the map, so it's like Battlefield. And you'll hear the characters around you yell where and what's going on if there's like enemy uh, action going on. Also, the mini map looks different, and it just looks like looks similar to Battlefield. I feel like Infinity War turning into like Battlefield and whatnot. And also, when you kill people, like who killed who with what on the bottom left, it's now on the bottom, or not bottom right. It's in the top right, and I think uh, they're just changing everything. I really like what um, Infinity Ward's doing. Oh, and also, from Inf Infinity Ward has an introduced create a class with Modern Warfare or Modern Warfare 2, but now they've introduced create or no customize your soldier. Yes, you could create 20,000 combinations to customize your soldier. I mean everything to customize from your helmet, your shoes, your outfit, um, your uh, what is it called your face paint and whatnot. And there's gonna be th 30 new weapons to use in this game, everything from assault rifles to LMGs, some machine gun sniper rifles, you name it. And also new 20 kill streaks. Uh, and also Infinity Ward has brought back the uh, assault support and specialist package from Modern Warfare 3. So I think it's gonna be really awesome. And also, oh, the, the, the scope on the snipers, it's no longer like a black circle around whenever you scope in. It's not gonna be like a clear circle. So that's going to be really, really helpful, in my opinion. I really like that, what uh, Infinity Ward did that. <coughs> Excuse me right there. And what else should we talk about? Oh, 
uh, what, you know like whenever you check your scoreboard to like see how many kills and deaths you have? Well, you don't have to press select anymore because what Infinity Ward did with Call of Duty Ghosts, they put your score, your death, and um, how many kills, and your KD, all of that on the top right of the screen without pressing select. So I think that's really helpful because sometimes I press select and some new pops out in front of me and they take me out and I'm just rage quitting to the max, just want to break my controller and whatnot. But yes, I'm so thankful that I don't have to press select anymore. And yeah, it's great. So ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this video of mine, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. It really helps me out and supports the channel and makes the channel grow. And I thank you guys for watching this video and until then, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.